Hi, my name is Haley. I am a 28-year-old disabled yoga teacher, and I want to tell you about the time that I signed up for SciFit Fresno's rehab. Uh, they're like a neuro rehab for spinal cord injuries and all kinds of neurological conditions. I don't have a spinal cord injury, but I am disabled, so I decided to join, which was one of the best decisions I probably could have made in my life. So today I wanted to talk about one of the yoga branches. It's a niyama, and it's called tapas. Tapas is like our inner fire, or our inner burning. It's like discipline and our firepower and ability to stay motivated and disciplined and consistent. Um, throughout my time at SciFit, I had multiple surgeries that required me to take breaks, um, but what made me consistent was that I kept coming back the second I could. I can't wait to return. I just had another major ostomy surgery, but I am counting down the days to returning to SciFit to continue to work on my tapas. I've noticed with disabled people that it's really easy to not work out and it's really easy to not challenge ourselves because people don't challenge disabled people. You kind of would be okay just doing the same old, same old, but I didn't want to get stuck in that. So going to SciFit is one of the ways that I continuously challenge myself. And if I'm being completely honest, their therapy dog is totally what sold me. I showed up like 80% sure I would sign up for the rehab, but Ellis, the therapy dog, is definitely what sold me. That he sealed the deal. He is so freaking cute. Like it brings me so much joy going into SciFit every single time because I get to say hi to Ellis. He is such a great dog. And in almost every single clip, you could pretty much see Ellis. He's the golden retriever under the table there. Also, speaking of big personalities, everyone at SciFit is so freaking cool. Like, everyone that I've met that comes into SciFit has such a gnarly story and everyone that walks in those doors are so inspiring because they're working on their tapas when they could just stay home. So the community that SciFit has built is incredible. And they value how important community and family is. It's like one big ohana there. So they have a lot of social events um, to attend throughout the year to stay close and to form connections with everyone. It is truly like going to a family reunion every time we have a social event. And I think everyone knows who's disabled, knows the value that socializing with other disabled peers can have on you. It's just so important to surround yourself with people that get it and people that will motivate you and push you because able-bodied people kind of look at you in a different light and sometimes it's nice to have people that look at you for you and who aren't afraid to tell you what you need to hear. Another thing I really love about SciFit is that they take into consideration your goals. So for a while my goal was to walk but that has changed over time so They've focused less on walking and more on just being strong in the chair and like using different ways to work my lower body without like standing and walking. Um, so yeah, I really love that they listen and they take into consideration your goals because in the hospital PT, they're obsessed with getting you walking <clears throat> and standing up and that's not everybody's goal like me I've accepted my disability so I'm not obsessed with walking again I 
live a very good life not walking, so that's just not one of my goals anymore. Um, so I think it's really cool that SciFit listens and they give you room for your goals to change too, which is nice. And yeah, they also um, work really closely with my cardiac surgeons, like limitations and stuff. And every time I have surgery, they are able to modify the workouts around um, my post-op instructions, which is pretty awesome. This is something that I wouldn't be able to do on my own because I wouldn't know how to modify in the gym. I can modify with yoga, but not in the gym. Not that this isn't yoga. Yoga is technically anything that creates a union with yourself in the present moment or others, and this definitely unionizes your attention span to the present moment in your body. Having to start all over again with rehab multiple times can be very discouraging, but just try and focus on the journey and not the destination. Like every time I end up having surgery, I have to start all over again or even further back progress-wise than where I was before, but it's definitely worth it to stay consistent and to just enjoy moving and working out versus focusing on where you want to get. I highly recommend joining a gym like this one if you have the funds for it. Uh, right now I'm actually waiting to get money so that I can go back. Um, and SciFit recognizes that it's a very big financial burden, so they actually accept donations um, to put or to like sponsor people to come to the gym. So if you feel like donating, um, go check out SciFit Fresno. Um, yeah. You might be thinking, Haley, I don't have the energy to go to the gym or rehab. But that's the thing about exercise is that, and tapas in general, is that uh, if you force yourself to do it a few times, you actually end up getting energy from working out. And suddenly you have more energy just throughout your day. Exercise breeds uh, energy and strength, so if you are lacking energy, exercising is one way to gain it. Like, you're not going to get energized by sitting around at home all day. So, like, when I'm really exhausted, I just start with some hand weights, and I end up feeling more energized the next day. And that's tapas for you, because it's like fire. you got to build and stoke your fire. Another major barrier that could have held me back was that I started developing incontinence and had to start wearing adult incontinence underwear, which made me super self-conscious and embarrassed to return. So I ended up just buying like really baggy sweatpants um, and no one ever even noticed or said anything. And then I even started noticing other people at the gym wearing incontinence stuff, so that made me feel a lot better too. But um, I ended up having bladder failure, so I had to get a catheter, and then I had to start showing up with a pee bag. And that could have been really embarrassing, but SciFit knows how to like make you feel comfortable despite that, and they were very respectful about it and just made me feel very comfortable and normalized. And then, you know, obviously you see other people with catheter bags there too, and then you just feel a lot better about it. So whatever 
it is holding you back from going to a gym, um, don't let it hold you back. And you might be pleasantly surprised at how not big of a deal it is. Like at the gym, people are so focused on themselves and how they're uncomfortable and being perceived that they're not even paying attention to you. Plus, like, I don't know about you, but when I'm at the gym, I'm constantly looking at the machines and, like, the only time I look at people is to see if they're, like, about to be finished with the machine that I want. <laughs> so, don't let insecurities hold you back from growing. I firmly believe that exercise saved my life, like with all the heart surgeries I had and just the progression of my disorder, I noticed that getting strong in the gym definitely helped my recovery with everything. And in general, like the more fit you are, the more resilient your body is when it undergoes an infection or surgery. So for me, going to SciFit was more than just getting exercise. It was also to <clears throat> protect my body from hospitalizations because uh, it's a slippery slope, losing mobility and being able to gain mobility before every hospital stay definitely helped with my independence and recovery. Living with disability or an injury or a chronic illness means that you don't have control over a lot and exercising is one way that you can, it's like one factor you can control in your life. You, we can't change what happens to us, but we're 100% responsible for how we react when something does happen to us. So don't give up, get back in the gym, take care of yourself. Like if you're disabled, your full-time job is taking care of your body and movement is such a great way to do that. And I know it's really hard. I'm speaking from tons of experience. When you're sick, exercise is the last thing you wanna do. It can temporarily make you feel worse but it is so, 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 so important to not give up and to keep exercising. Your body will thank you. One of my goals going into SciFit was to strengthen my upper body. I wanted to be able to do pull-ups because that's something in my entire athletic life I've never been able to do a pull-up so I was like you know what I want to be able to do pull-ups and SciFit was like okay say no more and they had me doing pull-ups I mean I was so blown away <laughs> this consistent effort you can oh do my really God. like I never thought I'd be able to do a pull-up and they got me doing multiple pull-ups I mean look at that They are amazing at helping you with your goals. Another thing about like not walking, walking triggered my cardiac events and seizures. So like for me, being in a chair is just way safer. And if I'm strong enough to do pull-ups in my chair, then I don't care that I can't walk. But I do need to work on my posture more, definitely. Since I've been gone, my posture and my shoulders keep getting worse. Like with shoulder pain, that's been another one of my major goals with this rehab. And whenever I go, my shoulder pain completely disappears when I'm consistent at it. So I know that my shoulder pain can be fixed just with consistent exercise. It's definitely a weakness issue. But um, yeah, what's something that you want to do? Comment below and tell me what your goals are and how you feel about 
walking rehab. To anyone watching from SciFit Fresno or any of the SciFits, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The impact that you made on my life and other people's lives is priceless. So thank you. SciFit is in California and they have several locations. I'm at the Fresno location, but there's also one in Sacramento, Petaluma, Dublin, and oh, actually there might be one in Arizona. Yeah, it says SciFit Arizona. Wow, nice. Anyway, let me give you their phone number. You can find uh, information on www.sci/fit.org, and Fresno's phone number is 559-298-7221. Can't recommend them enough if you're looking for a community, if you're looking for family, if you're looking to challenge yourself or better your uh, mobility and recovery time, SciFit is for you. Maybe I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below so that I can answer them. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And as always, feel free to let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. See you next time.